Okay, this is looking out from the front of the house, kind of down the street here. As you can see, it's rainy, but um, now we're coming into the foyer. You have the steps right there. So, this is the foyer, it's tile foyer right there, um, coming in to the left is, um, this is going to be kind of like living room, however you want to use it, nice hardwoods. They look like real hardwoods, you know, that have actually been refinished. Um, decent moldings, got crown molding at the top. Looks like five inch at the bottom. This is looking through the foyer towards the dining room. The house is, I think, 24, 50 or something square feet. Issue with that light bulb. Um, Looks like an old or security system there. Um, let's see, we also have come through this hallway here. This is probably, yeah, closet. Then come through. This is your family room area here. And again, there's another. Um, entrance there into the uh okay, that's just a screen looks like old chain link fence there i don't know if they're gonna planning to tear it down she said they were still doing a few things in the house um, so here's your family room you walk in um, you have fireplace there, hearth. It's open to your kitchen. And also you have um, the French doors here go out to nice screen porch. Not huge, but um, that must be what they ripped out of there, I'm assuming. So here's your backyard. All through here. Got some big trees. Looks like a shed in the back. Here's where when I talked with her, there's the um there's no garage, but you have the driveway back there. There is room you could actually you know, put a garage in over there. You'll know, have it come up through here and still have a lot of your backyard. And they thought about doing that. Um but they didn't want to go that far at this point. So coming back in. I apologize if I get you dizzy from swinging the camera around or walking too quickly. Um, before we go in the kitchen, this looks like, um, I don't know why when the driveway is on one side, you've got your laundry kind of mud on the other um, but I guess that's something that you can always work on but yeah washer dryer dryer goes here door there so not huge laundry room um, there's your electrical panel not diet um, you have here's to be a couple small closets so not a huge amount of space in here but if you added on a garage on the other side you could always repurpose this room probably into something else um, and this door. okay so now you're gonna walk back into the family room I mean it's 
not a huge room. The living room appears to be larger room, but you could actually, if you're more living on a formal living room, you could have this area kind of be your family room and you know this kind of a casual area. Then here's your dining room here with the uh, light fixture. She said all the light fixtures were, I think, restoration hardware. Um, it's a not gigantic kitchen. And it's pretty small, but again, um, I'll kind of show you through here. You know, you've got your driveway area. If you were to add on, you can add on probably at this point to see what the setbacks are. But um, I think you probably have a fair amount of room because that's, I'm assuming the fence there is probably the property line. So, um, and there's the end of the driveway there. Got you, of course, nice new windows. Here's your granite. Um, got your stainless appliances here. Um, electric, so I have to see. Um, there's your cabinets, forever mark cabinets in there. So they they are actually wood cabinets, which is nice. The self-closing. Say so not a giant kitchen by any stretch of the imagination. Um, got stainless steel refrigerator here. So, but, I mean, there are possibilities if you wanted to make a few changes as far as expanding a little bit or doing something with changing around where the bay window is. Then here's the tile in the kitchen, the subway tile. All right, now we will go upstairs. If I can find the light. All right, um, interesting lighting on the stairwell, if you can see that. Try to come closer. It's cool looking, it's a little dim, so I don't know if you want to put a can light in. Okay, so. Come in here. Pretty good size room through here. And you do have two closets, which I don't know why they just didn't knock out that middle wall and make one big closet, but and you do have is this the master maybe? I don't know. It's got the two light fixtures there. I don't know why that's not in focus. Two light fixtures on either side of the wall. Come in here. Yeah, this must be the master because then you have your sink. This is the mica toilet. Um, and you have your 
shower looks like the, the um, very nice shower not a lot of space though with the large shower your toilet and then you have your uh, vanity here let's see actually this may be maybe um Home brand or six stone, I'm not sure. Okay, and then tile. So not a really large master bath, if this is indeed the master. Let's see, the other bedrooms. So I would think that this would be, but let's see. This room here, you have, I guess this is, the closet there and then through here do have ceiling fans this I think is one of the rooms that they added on because she did mention that they had actually added on um, is actually decent size. Interesting how they did that. I guess they built the closet out. Let's see, they just have not a bad size closet. Then this has a Jack and Jill bath. That's up here. Looks like they're still doing some work there. Probably haven't put in the fixtures. Then that leads to this room here. The small clock. I almost would have made the back room, the master bath, instead of doing what they did. I know they wanted to do the Jack and Jill baths, but the, I don't know. Let's check out the master again. Oh, they don't have lights in there. I mean, it's a good size master, and you do have your know, closets though are definitely, I mean, each closet is this size. And you could get it, I mean, it's decent size master bedroom, master bath, and closet space might be a little bit of an issue. The, uh, I don't know if you went in and if you built a garage addition, if you could put a master or expand one of these back bedrooms and just kind of reconfigure them. But anyway, this is the house. I will also take some still photos.